Hello, dear friends. I know some days feel like a never-ending tunnel of darkness, but remember, the night is always darkest before the dawn. We're setting out today on a journey, a journey that explores the depths of despair and the heights of hope. It's a journey familiar to many, a journey that often begins in the shadow of hopelessness and loneliness. This is a place where every day feels like an uphill battle, where every breath feels heavy, and where the light at the end of the tunnel seems to be an illusion. It's a place where the cycle of difficulties seems unending, where the world feels cold and uncaring. In such a place, joy feels like a distant memory and laughter, a forgotten melody. Yes, it's a dark place, this dawn of despair, but it's also a place from which many of us have emerged, stronger and more resilient. And so, we begin with a story. A story of a man who found himself in the throes of such despair. A man who felt that the weight of the world was on his shoulders, a man who felt utterly lost. And every man, a man like any of us. A man who, despite the odds, found a way to break free from the chains of despair. Our protagonist, let's call him John, was in the depths of despair, feeling utterly lost. John was a man like any other, but life had dealt him a harsh hand. Imagine a bloke named John, a regular guy you might say, but one who seemed to be a magnet for trouble and hardship. John's life was a constant struggle, a relentless battle against the odds. He was no stranger to adversity, facing it head-on with grit and determination. John was the kind of man who worked tirelessly, dawn to dusk, to provide for his family. Yet despite his efforts, he always seemed to be teetering on the brink of financial disaster. Every paycheck was a sigh of relief, every unexpected expense a cause for sleepless nights. But it wasn't just about money. John grappled with issues that money couldn't solve. He was a man who knew what it was like to lose loved ones. The pain of saying goodbye to people you're not ready to part with was all too familiar to him. He had faced the bitter sting of rejection and the crushing weight of failure more times than he cared to remember. John's life was marked by a series of unfortunate events that seemed to follow him like storm clouds. His heart was heavy with the weight of disappointment and his spirit was bruised by the blows of life's cruel whims. There were days when he felt like a ship caught in a tempest, tossed about by the waves with no sight of land. In the depths of his despair, John often felt alone, misunderstood, and forgotten. He felt like a solitary figure trudging through a desolate landscape with no end in sight. His dreams had faded into the background, and his hopes seemed like distant stars, unreachable and elusive. Yes, John knew what it was like to feel hopeless. He knew what it was like to question the purpose of his struggles, to wonder if his efforts were in vain. He knew what it was like to look at the future and see nothing but a vast empty void. John felt hopeless, but little did he know his life was about to change. In the midst of his darkest hour, John found a glimmer of hope. Just when things seemed their bleakest, John stumbled upon a path he had never considered before. It was a path towards spirituality, towards faith, and ultimately, towards hope. He began to explore his belief in a higher power, something that was larger than his problems, larger than his despair. He began to have conversations with God, not in a literal sense, but through prayer, through quiet contemplation, and even through tears. These conversations were not one-sided. It wasn't just about John pouring out his heart, his fears, and his worries. It was also about listening, about finding comfort in the silence, about feeling a connection with something greater. It was about finding solace in the belief that he was not alone, that there was a plan for him, a plan that was bigger than his current struggles. And as John ventured further into his journey of faith, he began to see changes, not overnight, not dramatically, but slowly and steadily. He found strength he didn't know he had. He found courage to face his fears. He found peace in the midst of his turmoil. He found hope in the midst of despair. This was not an easy journey. There were days when John questioned his faith, days when he felt lost and alone all over again. But each time he found his way back, back to his conversations with God, back to his belief that there was a plan for him. And through it all, John found something invaluable. He found hope in the midst of despair. He found a reason to keep going, a reason to believe that things would get better. 
He found a testament to the power of faith. Through his journey, John discovered that faith was not about having all the answers. It was about trusting that even in the darkest hours, there was a glimmer of hope. That even in the midst of despair, there was a plan. John found hope in the midst of despair, a testament to the power of faith. With newfound hope, John began to see his life in a new light. It was like the dawn after a long dark night. John, once a man enshrouded in the gloom of despair, now stood bathed in the warm glow of hope. This change, this transformation, was not brought about by some grand event or sudden revelation. Rather it was the quiet whisper of faith, the gentle nudge of belief in a higher plan that guided him out of his darkness. His journey was not without its challenges, no. Every step forward was a testament to his strength, a testament to his unwavering faith. There were days when the shadows of his past loomed large, threatening to pull him back into the abyss. But with each step, he found himself growing stronger, bolder. He was not the same John who had once wallowed in despair. He was a man reborn, a man fueled by hope, driven by the belief that there was a plan for him. As John moved forward, he found himself changing in more ways than he could have ever imagined. The world around him seemed brighter, more vibrant. He began to appreciate the little things, the everyday miracles that he had once taken for granted. He found joy in the simplest of things, a bird's song, a child's laughter, the warmth of the sun on his skin. His heart, once heavy with despair, now danced with the rhythm of hope. His journey was not a solitary one. He found solace in the company of others who had faced similar trials. He found strength in their stories, in their shared experiences. He was not alone. He was part of a larger tapestry, a tapestry woven by the hands of the divine. The journey forward was not an easy one, but it was one that John embarked upon with determination and courage. He had found hope, and with that hope, he had found a new lease on life. John's life was a testament to the phrase, God has a plan for you. And that plan, that divine blueprint guided him forward out of the shadows of despair and into the warm embrace of hope. John's story is not unique. There are many of us who feel lost, but remember, you are not alone. Just as John found his way through the murkiness of despair, so too can every soul adrift in the sea of hardship. Life, in all its complexity, can sometimes feel like an overwhelming whirlwind. It tugs and pulls at us, casting us into the throes of uncertainty and often despair. But it's in these moments that we must remember. We are not alone. Every person has their own version of John's story, their own struggles, their own moments of despair. But let's take a moment to reflect on something important here. The struggles we face are not punishments, they are not signs of abandonment. On the contrary, they are part of a bigger picture, a grand design. Think of a tapestry. Each thread individually might seem insignificant, even misplaced. But when you step back, you see the full image, the intricate design woven by the artist. Our lives are much the same. Each struggle, each moment of despair is but a single thread in the tapestry of our life. And the artist? That's God. God has a plan for each and every one of us, a design unique to our lives. Just as John found his way, so too will we find ours. It might not be today or tomorrow or even the next day, but have faith. With each sunrise comes a new day, and with each new day comes a new opportunity. Yes, there will be moments when we fall, when we stumble. But remember, even in our darkest hour, we are not alone. God is there, guiding us, supporting us, even when we can't see it. Like a shepherd guiding his flock, he is watching over us, ensuring that we find our way. So when you feel lost, when you feel like John, remember this, you are not alone. We are all part of a bigger picture, a grand design, and God, the artist, has a plan for us, a plan filled with hope, love, and compassion. So, dear friends, remember no matter how hopeless you feel, God has a plan for you. You are not alone, and you are loved. Keep faith, for the dawn is just around the corner.